my amigos ah! Oh yeah, my amigo. Got your little fucking this morning. Yeah, I do. I got a fucking this morning, yeah. They're setting up. About 10 minutes to get ready here. 10 minutes? Beautiful. Here we go. You know those Spanish words that everyone knows even if you've never heard them before? Words like delicioso, bueno, queso, fresco, crema, mexicana, cacique. Check it out. They make autentico quesos and cremas. Try cacique ranchero queso fresco and crema mexicana. You'll see that solo cacique gives your dishes flavor that is fresco y natural, like no other in el mercado. Okay, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm sorry for la demora, man. No, that's okay. Don't worry about it. There it is, my amigo. Oh, yeah, my amigo. Oh, yeah. One line. I left my house with a bunch of stuff to do. I'm so behind. <laughs> way behind. Way, way. Way behind. <laughs> I received this humongous audition, huge. This is like a life-changing audition, and uh, I left it. I'm gonna end up doing it tonight, which is not a good idea, because when I get home, I end up not having the energy. I remember when I first started voiceover, and even up until two years ago, I would receive these huge auditions, and I would just think, oh man, I gotta do this. I gotta take 15 minutes per line on this, yeah. And I would take half hour, I would take one hour to do these auditions. And then I wouldn't book them. I haven't booked a life-changing audition yet, to this day. Now, I have had some really good jobs. Uh, I worked with K-12 for five years, I think. And that was a life-changing one, I guess in a way, just because it was consistent work. They just sent me you know, curriculum, and I would just read the curriculum. And, uh, I mean, I'm lying. I'm not gonna say that it's not life-changing, because it is, because the experience gained. You're reading and editing for 40 hours a week, because that's what they would give me. They would give me, they would send me a batch of stuff, just like a lot of stuff. And then I would read it for hours and hours. You, you build stamina, you learn diction, you learn how to enunciate. So uh, I just got good at reading. So I guess in that sense, it is life changing. But have I booked a job where I'm, you know, where I'm making $100,000 in one job? No, it exists too, by the way. I went to a couple of voiceover conferences and one in particular, I, I remember I went to like in 2012, there was a guy there who uh, everybody was kind of like chirping about, oh, that's the guy, that's the guy, that's the guy. And uh, I started talking to him and stuff and I asked him, hey, so, you know, everybody keeps talking. If you don't mind me asking, what did you make on that job? And he said, uh, oh, I've, at this point, I've made 120 something thousand dollars. One job, guys. <laughs> wow. But I used to think to myself, um, I have to pour my energy and all my effort into this one job. And then nothing comes of it and you become irritated and disillusioned. I don't do that anymore. Anyway. I'm done yapping. Playing with irons only today. Yuck. It's not gonna go. Oh my gosh. What do you mean? Yuck. Oh, that was ugly. Yuck. No, it was. The Yuck. stroke was really ugly. Yuck far. <laughs> Yuck far. Oh, no way. Wow. I was gonna say, it's gonna drop you to your knees, Tom. That would have sunk your, your heart. Oh, I didn't.
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he put it in his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> this way? No, I was just kidding. Oh. I was like, he's a good, not that good. No, though. he said he sits in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing my one dollar. dollars. Freaking Tom. <laughs> this guy used to beat me all the time when we first started playing and then I started smoking him and now he's kind of coming back. He's up like two bucks. Oh yeah, my amigos. Comfortably happy. I'm happy, but I'm very uncomfortable. Not entirely happy, in other words. Like for the most part, I would say I'm happy. I am. And at the same time, I'm not comfortable. You know, it, it continues to be a work in progress. Comfortable because it's not taking yet and at the same time I'm beginning to see the light yesterday I didn't see any light yesterday was very uncomfortable is it difficult to hear me because of the tractor going in the background I apologize if it is my amigos I apologize my amigos got uh, two days actually three days Sunday would still count technically because I could still get a fair amount of practice in in the morning. Tomorrow will be a good grinding day. Just comfortable enough to play and feel that I can compete, but not feel like I could absolutely just rip the course apart, you know what I mean? But it does feel like I'm, I'm just hitting lasers and that's the good thing. So, uh, it's been a good day. I lost a dollar, that wasn't too bad. But I did play with my irons played with my irons and my five wood the entire time. So it's not like I was able to really score. I mostly just, uh, what it feels like to hit the the single lengths off a tee from the tee box. I don't think I've ever done that before, right? But that's all I got, my amigos. It's a really nice night out here. I'm the last one out here aside from the guy picking. That's all I got, my amigos. Yo, positive pill of energy. Yeah, hoo, 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 hoo. Yeah. That's it guys, I'm done, I'm out of here.